Maximum aerobic speed, or more commonly known as MAS, is the speed at which maximal oxygen uptake occurs. Why is MAS so important? Well, we can use MAS to prescribe different running intensities to allow us to train close to or at an athlete's VO2 max. Now, this is important because the research indicates that running at close to 100% of your MAS allows for the best adaptations in this thing that we call aerobic power. Now, aerobic power is the ability of our muscles to utilize oxygen to produce energy. Now, essentially, it's a measure of our ability to be able to do aerobic work. In many team-based sports, athletes are required to run relatively long distances at varying speeds. Therefore, a team sport athlete must possess the ability to do aerobic work. We generally refer to this as the aerobic capacity or the aerobic endurance of an athlete. For team sport athletes, improving the aerobic capacity might allow them to be able to perform at a higher level. Let's take for example an Australian rules football player. A footy player will cover upwards of 15 kilometers per match. Now the majority of this running distance is completed at an intensity where the aerobic energy systems can supply the energy demand. A football player will also perform many high intensity efforts during this game. These high intensity efforts are generally interspersed with lower intensity running efforts. Therefore, it is important for us to understand that football and many other team based sports are considered intermittent in nature. The use of MAS provides us an opportunity to implement conditioning programs to target the specific intermittent nature of team based sport athletes. But how do we implement such training methods using the MAS? Further to this, how do we even work out MAS? There are many methods to work out MAS. However, the most popular method within sporting teams in Australia is a time trial. Research tends to indicate that time trials that take approximately five to six minutes or 1.2 to two kilometers seem to be the most effective at working out an accurate MAS. Now to determine MAS, you need to be able to work out the average speed during the time trial. To do this, you need both the distance run and the time it took to run that distance. Let's take for an example, two athletes running a five minute time trial. Athlete one covered 1,500 meters in their five minute time trial, while athlete two covered 1,350 meters during their five minute time trial. Now to work out MAS, we then need to divide the distance run by each athlete by 300 seconds. For athlete one, their MAS would be equal to five as we divide 1,500 meters by 300 seconds. For athlete two, their MAS would be equal to 4.5 as we divide 1,350 meters by 300 seconds. You might be asking, how do we use MAS to prescribe conditioning? Well, there are several methods and the most common method is the MAS grid. Now the MAS grid is set up with four cones with two long sides and two short sides. And the athletes typically run around these cones in a clockwise direction. With MAS grids, the distance of the long side and the short sides correspond to a percentage of the athlete's MAS. The long sides of the MAS grid is known as the work effort. Now the distances between these cones on the long side is typically set at 100% or 110% of an athlete's MAS. The short sides of the MAS grid are known as the recovery effort sides. And the distances between these cones are typically set at 50 to 60% of an MAS. Now, a common time period used for MAS grids is a 15 second work effort and a 15 second recovery effort. We can set up multiple grids within the largest grid to accommodate for different athlete fitness levels. Let's take for an example, two groups of athletes that we wanna run at a work effort of 110% of their MAS and a recovery effort of 50% of an MAS. Now the MAS of group one is five meters per second while the MAS of group two is 4.5 meters per second. To accommodate for these different fitness levels, we can set up multiple MAS grids. To work out the distances for each grid, we first need to multiply the MAS by 110% and 50% to get the respective speeds. Once these speeds have been calculated, the duration of each effort is multiplied by the speed to calculate the distance. Let's use group one as an example. Group one has an MAS of five meters per second. To find 110% of 5 meters per second, we multiply 5 by 1.1, which gives us a speed of 5.5 meters per second. We use the same process to, to determine 50% MAS speed, which is equal to 2.5 meters per second. 
For this MAS grid, we're going to set up the work efforts to a duration of 15 seconds. To determine the distance, we then multiply 5.5 and 2.5 by 15 seconds. For this group of athletes, during the work effort, they would need to cover 82.5 meters in their 15 second running effort, while their recovery effort requires them to cover 37 and a half meters. We can use this same process to, to determine the running distances for group two. The duration of an MAS grid lasts anywhere from about four to eight minutes and is typically repeated two to three times. Another use of MAS to set up conditioning is the use of an MAS shuttle. The method to determine the length of MAS shuttles is the same as that used in MAS grids. MAS shuttles are typically performed at higher intensities and shorter work durations, and they also use passive recoveries. Let's use again group one for an example for an MAS shuttle. The shuttle distance will be set at 120% of MAS, so for this example, six meters per second. For this MAS shuttle, we'll use a duration of 10 seconds, resulting in a running distance of 60 meters. The recovery period is passive, meaning after the athletes have completed their 60 meter shuttle, they will stand at the end for 10 seconds and recover. They will then repeat this process until the allocated time is up. Typically around four to six minutes is a set duration for MAS shuttles. MAS shuttles can also be performed with changes of directions. This is an important component in many team-based sports. Again, we'll use group one running at 120% for 10 seconds. Instead of marking up cones that are 60 meters apart, we can shorten the distance between the cones to 20 meters. The athlete will then need to complete three shuttles to cover the required running distance. Typically, this is more taxing than straight line running, so the duration of these running sets are shorter, typically three to five minutes. One final use of MAS to set up conditioning is the use of long intervals. Long intervals typically involve running at a speed greater than 85% of an athlete's MAS. These intervals are performed for a longer period of time, typically one to five minutes, and will be repeated three to six times. The rest periods between these efforts generally range from one to two minutes. Typically, the longer the interval, the lower the running intensity and vice versa. This type of running is best used early on in preparation periods of training programs. As the underlying objective of this type of MAS running is to increase the volume of work that can be performed by an athlete. Given the longer durations and distances covered per effort, distances can be set up around the boundary or an athlete can use a watch to monitor the distances they are running. Typically, long intervals are performed by athletes that possess generally low aerobic capacities. Therefore, we typically don't see athletes, particularly at the elite level, performing lots of long interval training sessions when their team sport demands them to perform intermittent style activities. I hope this video has been insightful about the use of MAS in team sport athletes. These examples are by no means a hard and fast rule for the use of MAS to prescribe running. In fact, the use of MAS to prescribe running is limited by the individual or coach's creativity in manipulating both the intensity and the duration of an individual's training session. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button if you enjoy this video and hit us up on our social medias if you're interested in hearing more or discussing further the use of MAS in team sport athletes. Thanks again. Peace out.